What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update and we have some very good news regarding the next stimulus check from the most unlikely person that you can imagine and how this is very good news for the next stimulus check and the next stimulus package. But first, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button down below. This way you won't miss out on second stimulus check news when it's coming out, how much it's going to be for, and unemployment news. My wife and I spend hours every day doing all the research for you so we can bring it to you in just a quick video every day. Also, make sure to smash the like button for us. We really appreciate it. And if you notice our award here from YouTube, that's our 100,000 subscriber award that we just received from YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Our growth has been amazing. I'll link to the video where we unbox that and just got it at the end of the video if you wanna watch that. Now, we're getting new recent support for the next stimulus package, which includes the stimulus check and a permanent extension, well, permanent till the end of the year, more permanent than the presidential executive order for unemployment. And who is the most unlikely person that we would see gushing support for the next stimulus package? If you guessed Mitch McConnell, you'd be right. And for us to say that we have support for the next stimulus package and the next stimulus check from Mitch McConnell, I'd, I'd be shocked to hear me saying those words even just a week or two or three ago. He has been the most negative person against this, another stimulus package, another stimulus check. At one point, he was saying that they would never pass another stimulus package, that enough has been enough. He said that they would never pass an extension to the unemployment and my, how times have changed. And Mitch McConnell is the leader of the Senate, the leader of the Senate Republicans. And basically, if he's in favor of another stimulus package and another stimulus check, then the Republican votes follow him. Well, apparently he's been getting a lot of behind the scenes slack from the president by not showing his support for another stimulus package, and he's getting huge slack from his state also. Kentucky voters are angry at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's response to the economic crisis wrought by the pandemic. Protesters have taken to protesting outside McConnell's Louisville office, carrying signs with slogans such as, Mitch better have my money. That's right. Say it with me. Mitch better have my money. And that's uh, with an M, not a B. With statements like this coming from fellow Kentuckians, we're seeing huge numbers of people needing help. I can't imagine a state that needs additional relief more than Kentucky does. Now, Mitch McConnell is up for re-election in November along with the president. Mitch has been a senator for Kentucky since 1984. That's 36 years he's been a senator, and he's been the Senate Majority Leader since 2015. And senators only go up for re-election every six years, and they're staggered every two years with about one-third of the Senate going up for re-election every two years. That's very different than members of the House of Representatives that only serve two-year terms. And apparently the voters in Kentucky are extremely upset with how negative Mitch has been through this whole progress about getting more help, more relief out to Americans and Kentuckians, and they're protesting outside his office, and that doesn't bode well for his reelection. Mitch McConnell did an interview. He said on Fox News that we need to get everybody back to the table, and we need to get a deal done. So for this to come from Mitch McConnell, my how the tables have turned. And if we now have the Republicans in favor of a stimulus package, and we have the Democrats in favor of a stimulus package, and the president's in favor of a stimulus package, and all these people are in favor more than ever. In addition, we've heard some mumblings that the president 
is very upset with Mitch McConnell and several other Republicans for not having a deal done already, a more permanent deal than his presidential executive orders because they need to get this deal done and get the money out before the election. And if too many further delays go on, then they might not get this deal out in time for the money to go out before the election. And if it goes out right before the election, like literally a week or two or three before the election, then a lot of people are going to smell you know, something a little phony. So they don't want to have it go out right before the election. It, you know, it needs to have a little bit of buffer time there so, so that people don't think they did it on purpose just for the votes. We have both the Republicans and the Democrats saying they're willing to put more money on the table. And it seems like they're closer than ever than coming to a deal for the stimulus package. They just need to sit down and negotiate on this. And we literally could have a deal within a few days. As soon as they come to a deal, it'll pass very fast. In addition to that, when Wall Street heard of the news of Mitch McConnell for another stimulus package, this would provide many, many millions of relief, not only for people and the unemployment, but then those people can go and spend money on businesses, and the businesses would benefit greatly by this. The stock market surged and is within a all-time high, all-time record, and the NASDAQ has already hit an all-time record, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, which is really crazy to even think that the stocks would be near an all-time high during this type of pandemic. I, yeah, you tell me, but without these bailouts and without, without these stimulus packages, this, this stock market would probably be down by 50% from where it is now. If you remember how fast the presidential orders passed, I literally reported on it on Friday that it could happen. And by Saturday, the president had already passed it on a Saturday. Within 24 hours, it happened. And that is how fast the next stimulus package and the next stimulus check can happen also. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. When this news happens, it's going to happen very fast, and I don't want you guys to miss out. You've been here for this, so you might as well be here for the good news also. Also, make sure you've smashed the like button for us. We really appreciate it. And this top video is my newest stimulus check video, and this bottom video is us receiving the award from YouTube for 100,000 subscribers. And this video teaches you how to start a business selling products on Amazon. I teach people how to do that, and I have students that have replaced their entire 9 to 5 income by selling one product on Amazon. You can click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.